Frank with Christians in Transportation, and um, it's Friday, April 9th, and I'm here at the office in uh, Stratford, Missouri. And today's April driving tip, we're going to discuss the dangers of hydroplaning in the rainy season, which is April. A fully loaded big truck can actually hydroplane at high, normal highway speeds in less than a quarter inch of water. So basically what you guys and, and ladies need to do when you're driving and you get into the rain is slow down, increase following distance, and turn off your cruise control. But the bigger danger of hydroplaning is not from the truck hydroplaning, but it's from the cars and the four-wheelers around us and out on the road because they think they can go through anything and as soon as one of those four-wheelers lets loose, they'll be spinning all over the road. And as a commercial driver here at Christensen, you are a professional, you need to anticipate that and be aware of that and are aware of your surroundings and the dangers involved of other people hydroplaning into you. A basic description of hydroplaning is when the truck gets up on top of the water and you lose all control of braking, steering, and uh, it's like driving on ice. Multiply that with a car going 70 in the rain and you can see what happens. And remember, a quarter inch of water, just a less than a quarter inch at normal highway speeds, can cause this effect with the tires losing traction and sending you for a ride that you really don't want to go on. Also, at the beginning of May, we have the Trucker CSA Safety Blitz, May 4th, 5th, and 6th. Barry is going to come out with a list of things that are looking for this year, so now is the time to prepare for that. I do know from discussion and getting DOT'd in Montana, the state of Montana, is looking for lights, unsecured fire extinguishers, and hours of service. Barry will be updating this list in Trucker's Toolbox, which you guys really need to listen to. There's a lot of good advice and information on that program that he puts out. Uh, be safe, get home to your loved ones safely, and we'll see you in May with May's Driving Tip.